I'm Ricardo from the Visa Developer Team, and today we're covering message level encryption, also known as MLE. MLE is required for APIs that primarily deal with sensitive transaction data, financial or non-financial, which includes PII, personal identification information, PAN, personal account number, or PAI, personal account information. But first, let me show you where to find the documentation. So what is message level encryption or also known as MLE? Message level encryption allows you to include an additional layer of protection on sensitive API payloads. Uh, MLE can help address the threat of relying on TLS for message security. SSL is designed to provide point-to-point -point security, which falls short for web RESTful services because of a need for end-to-end -end security. Visa sends and receive sensitive information for which an additional level of security in the form of message level encryption or also known as MLE is required as per TSR guidelines. So there are three different types of MLE enforcement level. Visa can mandate, make optional or not require message level encryption based on the sensitivity of the data being passed in each API. The required encryption level will be shown to you inside your project. Some VDP APIs show up as mandatory MLE API. This means that there is no choice given to an end user on whether to opt to use MLE when sending payloads across these APIs endpoints. These APIs have been identified as dealing with information falling into a sensitive category and Visa mandates that such API calls are encrypted using the MLE framework. This works across all of our environments, sandbox, certification, and production environment. The next category is optional MLE on VDP. Some VDP APIs allow you to be able to toggle the choice of whether MLE needs to be applied to the API or not. However, this is available only in sandbox environment. The option to go with or without MLE at the time of the proj project promotion, the option to go with or without MLE at the time of project promotion to certification and or to production lies with the VDP admin's discretion. You will be able to view the selection on the project dashboard for certification and production environments. However, in Sandbox, depending on whether you choose to opt into MLE or not, the validations are applied at the time of processing the API calls will be modified accordingly. <laughs> this ability gives you a migration path to consider for existing projects which would be moving from non-MLE to MLE scenarios and also provide an option to experiment in lower environment with the checks and balances needed to make an encrypted call versus a non-encrypted call. So MLE functionality is enhanced to be at API level instead of product level. With these changes, you can turn on or off MLE for few APIs within the product. Currently, MLE has three states. First one is not applicable. This state helps define the APIs which do not support MLE. Optional state, this state helps define the APIs which support MLE in both enforced and non-enforced state. Users in sandbox and admin 
in certification and production environment are allowed to choose whether they want enforcement or not to be applied to the project API combinations. Mandatory, this state helps defines the APIs which support MLE in enforced mandatory condition only. You can now see the above states on your VDP dashboard summary will be able to generate MLE certificates with an MLE enabled API test and generate encrypted payloads and validate behavior before deciding to enforce it. So there are two different certificate pairs that are issued for MLE. One is used when sending data and other is used when receiving data. Visa encryption key pair, you will encrypt the request message payload using the Visa public key and Visa decrypts the payload using its private key. Client encryption key pair, here Visa will encrypt the response with message payload using the public key of client also known as the client encryption certificate and the end user decrypts the payload using its private key. You need to upload additional CSR file for Emily as part of going live. The UID parameter in the CSR file will have to be replaced with the key ID shown in the message level encryption section of the credentials tab. Users can generate encryption keys in our sandbox certification or production environment. Uh, Visa developer MLE encryption guide provides the details for users to implement message level encryption by generating um, MLE specific credentials, sample code, and etc. So let's move on with the client journey for these projects. So when you're ready to go live, you will be repeating the same process for production environment that you performed for certification, and the process will be similar to certification environment. That wraps it up for this tutorial. I hope you have a better understanding on how to use MLE. If you have any questions, our team is ready to help. Head to our community forums or email us at developer at visa.com. Thanks for watching.